The EF 24mm f1.4 L2 USM is the widest angle, largest aperture prime lens offered by Canon on the EF lineup. Introduced in 2008 to update the exact same spec and be paired to Canon's top tier 1D cameras, it updated the AF CPU for faster autofocus, it updated the build quality and overall handling, and was surpassed optically only by recent Sigma and Nikon offerings, although Canon still delivers the best contrast and colors. At 83 by 86 mm of 650 grams of mostly metals, inside a protective plastic shell, the first thing we notice on the 24 f1.4 L2 is the revamped ergonomics, about the third generation of design and operation that paved the way to recent EF lenses. The shapes were streamlined to be better handled in use, and the exterior plastic was made scratch resistant using a texture. The metal mount is ported rubber gasket to seal it against water and dust, and Canon effectively declares its compatibility with the 1D series, made for pros. But overall the usability was just what we expected from a prime lens, a manual focusing ring, a ring type ultrasonic motor for fast and silent AF, and the standard ease of use of the L series. The external focusing ring is precisely paired to the all internal autofocus, sporting full time manual even when the AF switch is set to on. The USM motor now focuses at up to twice the speed, making it perfect for shooting action, a request from journalists. Here tested with the EOS 5D Mark II Center AF, I didn't get any autofocus shots and up to this date it's completely silent and instant, a true L series performance. At the front, the 77mm filter tread actually fixes on a metal tread that feels colder than the rest of the plastic shell and it sits right above the optical element, avoiding flaring. And at the rear, the metal mount feels secure and smooth, actually revealing one optical improvement over the previous generation. See this purplish rear element? That's Canon's new chemical SWC subwave lens coating, made to enhance contrast and balance colors. It's all on this new at the time wide angle lens, large aperture prime, made for professionals, delivered on the high end L series. With a 13 elements in 10 groups optical formula, sporting an incredibly complex mix of a spherical, low dispersion, and Canon's new at the time SWC, the 24 f1.4 L2 USM was the brightest 24mm lens of its times. While it holds its own when stopped down even on newer high resolution bodies, made as one of the best primes on Canon's lineup for a precision shot, it doesn't really deliver the goods wide open, being surpassed by Sigma's half priced art lenses. You see, wide open this Canon lens is simply soft across the frame. The details are nearly invisible near the frame corners, probably due to spherical aberrations, inherent of the formula meant for bokeh and color, and most importantly, the vignetting can be extreme at such apertures, darkening the corners at up to minus 5 stops of light, barely making the f1.4 aperture useful. The images simply look as simple as people, giving extra saturation to the frame's corner, putting it politely, and focusing the subject's attention to the center frame. It's one of those, it's not a defect, it's a feature thing, but we should expect more, it must be stopped down for better results. Stopping down to f2.8 makes for better corner luminance and fix most of these spherical aberrations, finally starting to deliver prime resolution across the frame. What is interesting to see is Canon's new at the time subway length coating, making razor sharp contrast and good chromatic aberration control that when paired to the shallow depth of field makes for magical images, especially for those shooting videos. It's stunning to have your subject included by the environment that is actually dominated by a blur paired to Canon's saturated colors. That's the reason I've kept it on my kit. So there you have it. The EF24 f1.4 L2 is yet another lens made for the specialty photographer, looking for a large aperture, wide-angle prime that, while now popular on the market, was once exclusive to Canon's EF mount. It's one of those lenses that can easily set your work apart, so just add it on your kit and nice shooting.